Okay. Again, we're picking up right where we left off because my computer decided to crash on me, so I had to end. But you remember we just took, took out Mela, and then Penny came as part of Cassiopeia's supply group. So, I'm good at machines and hacking and stuff, so I'll be working behind the scenes. Here you go, your bonus reward from Cassiopeia. On materials. Should be able to make a ton of TMs with those. Cassiopeia said you should get more rewards if you take out one of the TR's bases. Oh, um, I heard all, all about how you had your Pokemon charge into battle. Seems you were pretty amazing. The train as strong as you on our side, our operation will go just fine. There's four more squad bosses left, so, um, good luck. I love that backpack. <laughs> okay, okay, first, first things, things first, first, I'm going, going to fly to a Pokemon, Pokemon Center. Center. And heal my Pokemon. And we're going to figure out where we go from here. Okay, now. I'm going to put these guys back in. I'll keep Marion in because I may need an Azumarill. Somewhere down the line, I need to get her to French Evolve. But let me look at a map quick. I think my next stop should be here to take out the bug gym leader. And then I can hop up and take out the darkness base or dark base. Then take out Kofu, because I have a grass type, so Kofu should be easy uh, early. Then if I train up some fighting types, I should be able to take out Paywolf. I should be able to take out Medley. So that'll be one, two, three, four. Hopefully after Medley, I'll have enough experience and I can take out this one. I'm doing well, just trying to plan my attack. Because once I take out this one, I just have to take out... I think this is the last Titan to take out. If he's like 55, I believe. So that'll be one of the finals that I do. They try to take out Fairy Boy up here. Then they go to the Ice and Ghost Gyms. Maybe take them out. Because then I just have Poison. Fighting is the toughest of all the Starfalls, I think. I still, I still have electric, electric over, over here. here. So, so I, I may train, train up... up. Actually, I Actually, think electric, electric is the last thing I have over that area. area. Yeah. yeah. 
then this upper quadrant is poison, fighting, ice, ghost, fairy, dragon, ground, water, normal, dark, and bug, and then psychic is down here. I did manage to get down there, so I do have a flight path in. So I'll be able to do that. But I think for right now, I should just take on the bug leader and take on dark leader. Then water leader, because I'll have a type advantage. If I have some fighting types, I'll take on normal gym, swing around, have something on hand to take out electric gym. I guess get poison gym out of the way. It's poison week two. I have to look that up. <laughs> oh, the typings. I can't keep them straight for once. But we will go ahead and fly here after I choose the rest of my Pokemon. But I will be choosing some fighting Pokemon if I have any. I do have fighting. May pick Lelouch. Um, Andre will listen to me now, so I may pick him. And I guess fatigue just for the extra benefit. Also, Lelouch is also a friendship or. Yeah, I think, yeah, it's, I think friendship it's friendship at night, at night Evo, Evo, so having him around will also help. So that'll be my team for now. I said we shall go over to the bug gym. care of all that. Uh, nope. Nope. Why do I do that randomly? And Philomena will be up front because fire. Okay, let's see what the gym test will be. Oh, Namona, why are you here? Oh, Hitomi. It's so well, that we ended up randomly visiting the same gym at the same time. Again! What a weird coincidence! I'm not just sneaking ahead of you just so I can fly and wait and go, oh, wow, weird. Might as well battle now that you're here. No, seriously, look, to prove it, I won't even challenge you to a battle this time. As much as I'd like to. But look at you and your Pokemon. They've definitely gotten stronger since last time. Add these to mix and you'll be 100% set to go, no problem. Ethers, okay? okay. I'll, be I'll be cheering for you. I'll go train, train like maybe 20, 20 Pokemon, Pokemon or so while you tackle the gym. gym. Okay, Nimona. Okay, 
Welcome to Portondo Gym. We registered you as Challenger. Your name is Satomi, correct? Great. Now, in order to face Gym Leader Katie, you must first need to pass the gym test. Here at Cord on the gym, that means taking on the olive roll. Olive production is a big part of life in Portondo. We, we've we held the Olive Harvest Festival here each year for generations to usher in bumper crops. Plus our gym test, you need to roll an olive-shaped ball all the way to the goal. Your efforts should help ensure we get a great olive harvest next year, too. Staff over at the olive rolling field will explain the rules to you in further detail. I'll register the location on your map app, just to the north of town. I'll go out there and have fun. Okay. Also, also need, need to catch, catch a small one here. Because I love Lou guy, I want him. Okay, so which way am I going? Okay. Oh, Igglypuff. Hi, do Jigglypuff. Okay, welcome to the Olive Rolling Field. This gym test is all about stamina. You'll need to push with all you've got to get a large olive ball rolling and make it all the way to the end. Get the ball over various obstacles, then push it into the goal near the to clear the course. Now that you're filled in, are you ready to start the gym test? Sure, why not? Great, put in a wish for a good harvest of harvest and roll, roll, roll away. Okay, that is, that is an olive. That's not an olive, that's a football. The small ones are all over the place. That's cute. Of course, it's raining.
There we, there go. we go. That was, that it, was right? it, right? Okay. okay. It wasn't, wasn't completely, completely in. in. <laughs> okay. okay. Passed. Passed. With that performance, I'm sure we can look forward to a great olive harvest next year. I'm happy to declare your gym test officially cleared. Congratulations. Please report your result to the lobby staffer at the gym. Good luck on your battle against Katie. Okay, back to town. That's a lot of phytos. Okay. Welcome back, Atomi. I hear you were on a roll out there. Already har. I think congratulations for me for successfully clear clearing the gym test. You've now earned the right to challenge the gym leader. Best of luck. Are you ready to challenge Jim Lear Katie the sugar bug? Sure. Very well, allow me to show you to the battle court. Of course, it's outside. Heat up my cute little Vivian. Oh, what lovely trainer you are. Thank you very much for your skillful olive rolling. It was quite impressive. Oh, did, oh, did I forget to introduce, introduce myself? myself? Forgive, Forgive me. me. My name is Katie. I'm, I'm the, the owner, owner here at Aistry Soapberry. Soap oh, that's, that's right. right. I'm, I'm not, not in my, my shop. shop. I'm on oh, duty as, as leader of the Carn Tondo gym, gym right now. now. Forgive me. Ahem. Ahem. My name is Katie, and I'm the gym leader here at Carn Tondo. My main, My main line of work, work is crafting sweets, sweets as a pastry, pastry chef. Little sweets, sweets that bring happiness with, with just one bite. bite. Bug type Bug Pokemon, Pokemon hiding in foliage. Both, Both are, are small, small, yet, small, yet powerful. powerful. Now let your guard down unless you want, would, would like, like to find yourself, yourself knocked, knocked off your feet. feet. Okay, okay, I think, I think uh... uh Yeah, I think uh, Philomena will be perfect. I'm not, but my Pokemon are overleveled. I yeah, definitely. Plus, I have other things on my side, like acrobatics. <laughs> Tarantula Pokemon. Kill it with fire.
Eddie or Sa? Uh, keep current. Oh, you're quite good, aren't you? How should I roll things out from here? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I gotta admit, that, that is cute, cute the little, little bug, bug hat. hat. But, um, um sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my sweet little Pokemon dropped like, like flies. flies. Yep, yep. <laughs> Your strength Your rose, rose during our battle, battle like, like a nice bread, bread in the, in the oven. oven. I feel like, I feel like that I may need to work on my own strength, strength as well. well. Congratulations, you passed. Proof of your victory, proof of your victory against me, the gym leader, leader allow me to present you with this gym badge. badge. I hope you enjoy it alongside a heaping serving of some of my deluxe handmade treats. <laughs> With two jam badges in your possession, Pokemon up to level 30 will be easier to catch and will listen to your commands as well. You have quite the appetite as well. How about take this little TM as the frosting on this cake? Ouch. Okay. You attacks by pouncing on the target. This also lowers the target speed stat. That's interesting. So they actually came up with new moves. Once you found a TM during your travels, you can use that TM machine to make use a TM machine to make copies. Of that TM. You did know you did know that, right? I wish you luck on your future adventures. May they be as sweet and lovely as a good dessert. Off you go then until we meet again. He's nice. Me, would you be the Hitomi I've been hearing so much about? Oh, that's one of the teachers. Kamoda had mentioned there was a promising new face of the academy. Yes, indeed. Oh, but I do apologize. I didn't mean to startle you by addressing you so suddenly. My name is Asel. I'm one of the elite four of the Pokemon League. Okay. I also teach art classes at the academy. The SO has a teacher first. So do tell me, Younger, tell me what compels you to collect the gym badges and strive to be a champion. My friend asked me to. I mean, that's kind of right. Technically, I do want to get stronger, but that's just because things outside of the game. Um, I guess I want to find my treasure. Asked and answered. Thank you. 
Actually, there's no single correct answer. All paths lead to the great crater of Paldea, as they say. Now, your friend Amona is the youngest to achieve champion rank in all of Paldea in history. It's entirely possible that such great potential lies within you as well. If you continue striving to reach champion rank, you will one day have to battle me. Would be wise to train hard starting now. It will save you from experiencing the bitter regret of defeat. Oh, and do come along to my art class sometime. I would be thrilled to have you attend. Language classes available in art class. Okay. I guess then, just so we don't have them pile up, take a real quick break to go back to the academy and get all this extra stuff out of the way. Okay, so, so classes, classes languages, languages, and arts. So, so I know, I know art, art is that, that one guy, guy but is, is he, he also the language, language professor? professor? Guess, Guess we'll find, find out. out. Mr. Salvatore. Salvatore. Yeah, yeah, sure. sure. My dear, My dear students, students, how are all you all, all today? today? Feeling, Feeling good, good, I hope. hope. I am I not am even trying that. that. My, My name, name is, is Salvatore. Salvatore. That is, that is thank, thank you very, very much, much for your attention here, here in my class. class. So, oh my, oh my goodness, goodness, is he going to... Happy for this chance to experience my younger days with you all. Do you know what Salvatore means? It means savior. I guess. So just imagine I'm here to save you. Spooky new languages. Uh, funny, no? Uh, that's right, my class will teach you about various languages from different regions. You say good morning or hello as a greeting, but people elsewhere may say bonjour or salute. I've heard there's even a popular streamer out there who smashes several languages together. Says hello, hello, hola, ciao, and bonjour. There's so many regions out there in our world and each have their own unique language. Oh, jeez. Gracias, mercy. Yes, yeah. Uh, I do not know Chinese. Arigato, donke. These all have the same meaning. Can you guess what it is? Uh, thank you. Oh, Hitomi, was it? Bravo, that's correct. I'm speaking up and is important, important in language, language learning, learning too. too. These words, words all mean, mean thank, thank you. you. I guess, I guess some, some of you probably, probably knew at least one of those. those. Despite meaning the same the thing, their links and sounds are all different. different. Isn't that, Isn't that interesting? interesting? 
And now, apropos, apropos of, nothing, of nothing, let me give you all one wise of my wise, wise words of advice. advice. When you travel abroad, you should, abroad, you should try, try to speak the local language as much as you can, can. Even, even if you can't speak, speak it very well. well. I'm sure your willingness to try will make the people you meet very happy. happy. Honestly, from my experience, just being able to say hello, delicious, and thank you, the local language will get you pretty far. For everything else, just pretend you're Mr. Mime and gesture away. Oh, there's that pesky bell. I guess that's all the time we have for today. See you later, everyone. Okay, so I guess you unlocked the first two lessons. And then, and then something, something happens, happens, you unlock the other lessons, lessons I, guess. I guess. Yes, Psyduck, yes, hi. hi. I guess we'll finish out languages and then start with art. My dear friends, how are all of you all today? Feeling absolutely fantastic, I hope. Time for Salvatore's language lesson. Are you ready, everyone? You can answer yes or we. Oui. That's super. In our last class, I believe I taught you how to say thank you in other languages, right? In today's, In today's class, class, we will we learn about a certain word sure to make people happy whenever you use it in your travels abroad. What word you ask? ask? Well, you, you have, have to guess. Um, the only one I can think I know how to pronounce is Bono? Bueno? Bueno? <laughs> I am not sure. It's been forever since I took Spanish. Can anyone tell me what these words mean? Well, the seeing that the French one has actually delicious all in it, and none of these seem like sorry or help, and it's supposed to help people feel good. I'm gonna go on a limb and say delicious. Correct. I knew you would, I could count on you, Hitomi. All these words mean delicious. Using the worst local word for delicious at markets or restaurants is sure to be get a big smile. From whoever you're talking to. It'll make communication go more smoothly. I guarantee it. People love it when someone says the cuisine of their homeland is delicious. I wouldn't be happy to receive such a compliment. And now I propose of nothing. Let me give you one of my wise words of advice. First step to smooth communications is to compliment the person you're talking to. After all, it's not very likely that compliment would put someone in a bad mood. It does not, does not only apply to people in other regions, either. The same for all of you, too. Put this tip to use with your classmates. How about you try complimenting each other after class? That will make for an ambience. 
close sympathetic kiki. No. A more friendly atmosphere. That's all for today. See you all next lesson. That is... Goodbye. Okay, well now let's get the the art out of the way. Then we'll go see if, if there's anyone we could talk to to gain some or friendship points with. Greetings, I am Hassel. I will be teaching this art class. It is a pleasure to meet you all. I'll let you be candid for one moment. I imagine that many of you will forget all that you learned in this class once you graduate. After all, you don't even need basic understanding of artwork, much less a refined appreciation of beauty for most exams or jobs. Was my class a waste of time for you then? I think not. At least I certainly hope it isn't. Think for a moment, all of you. What is beauty anyway? What makes something beautiful? Uh, well, the saying is beauty is the, in the eye of the beholder, so... Interesting. Thank you, Atomi. I don't mean to suggest there is a correct answer to my query, but the more important thing is that we all take time to think about it. Think about what we might find beautiful in, fl in a flower blooming on the side of a road, for example. Question why the sky is a different shade of blue than the ocean, or why leaves change color. What are the windmills at Artisan and how they move? Contemplate the chilling bite of the waters of Paskarapa. Wait, why isn't it moving? It's only moving with me. Why isn't it moving with the game audio? Jeez, we'll have to fix the audio on fly. Not good at this. What's going on? Okay, there we go. Now it's moving. Uh, is anyone able to tell me if you can hear the game audio now? You can see it moving, but... a sec.
Okay, sorry about that. I had to look at my stream output and actually see if the audio was capturing the game. I'll need to tell me about that. Sometimes I just don't look. My thing just did just fall out a second ago. Okay, so I'll continue now, now that you can hear the game. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find that every detail of your lives is, will be more vivid, more impactful. Just take a moment and stop and think. I am certain that if you stop and truly appreciate the little beauties of this world, it will help pull you through the days where your studies have exhausted you. Have you exhausted, or when work has dampened your spirits? Ah, uh, do pardon me for waxing philosophically. Philosophical. You don't need to understand all that now. Put it simply, it is true that one doesn't need art to survive. But it certainly makes surviving much more enjoyable. It is my hope that this class will add even a little bit of color to your lives. That's all for today. Next time we'll try a more hands-on approach to appreciating beauty. Okay then. For one more art class. Hello, class. It is I, Hustle, yet again. In our previous class, we discussed what beauty is, which might have been a little boring for you. But today, I thought I'd mix things up a little and pique your interest in art. Let me introduce our special guest. Oh, it's a Gibble. This is Professor Gibble, an assistant lecturer for today. How oh, then, Professor Gibble, if you would be so kind as to rationalize for us. Okay. As some of you may already know, the, the Pokemon can terrestrialize the Terra Orb. Normally, Professor Gibble would be the Dragon type, but by terrestrializing, it succeeded in changing its type. Class, what type do these lovely glistening flowers above Professor Gibble's head represent? Uh, the grass type. Excellent, I told me full marks up for you. These beautiful flowers blooming above Professor Gibble's head show that it has now become a grass type. The shape of the Terra Jewel above the Pokemon's head depends on the Pokemon's Terra type. Summarize if an opponent's Pokemon terrestrializes during battle. Lurk the Pokemon's Terra Jewel closely to see which type it has become. And choose effective me moves accordingly. It is my sincere hope that today's lecture will help to achieve all achieve beautiful victory. The terrestrial phenomenon is indeed a fascinating and deep subject to discuss. That's it for today, class. Thank you, Professor Gibble, for your help. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's all the available classes.
Fossil, Salvatore. Oh, Miriam. So, let's go talk to Castle first. Why, if it isn't Hitomi? Question for you, do you find my class difficult? Uh, I say it's just right, I mean. That is certainly good to hear. Oh, Hitomi. You chose to take on the gym as part of your treasure hunt. That means you must like Pokemon battles, is that correct? I mean, I guess. I mean, I like more... collecting or... something non-aggressive, but yeah. But naturally become skilled as doing what they enjoy. Must be why you are so strong. Ah, do forgive me for springing such an odd question upon you so suddenly. I often find myself pondering the nature of strength these days. Anyway, thank you again for your input, Hitomi. Alright. There he is. Oh, Hitomi. Come all the way here to the staff room just to see me. Sure. <laughs> so I finally made it into the hearts of my students. That makes me happy. After all, like I said in class, communication is very important. If there is anything you're confused about in class or having trouble here at the Academy, you can always come here and tell me. Your friend Salvatore, that is. Okay, and he goes to visit Nerfarium. There, come on in. Everyone's welcome in the nurse's office. Tell me, have you toughened up a bit? I guess. Oh, so you're you know you're into you're in tough you know you're tough stuff, huh? <laughs> but seriously, you look a bit different. That's because of all the crazy experiences you're having on your treasure hunt. You tell me all about it when what you've been up to. Wow, that's super cool. I sure am jealous of you kids. It to try out new things every single day. Me, on the other hand, actually wanted to become a teacher. I'm just school nurse, you know. I can't teach classes or anything like that. I couldn't pass the certification exam to become an actual health teacher. I took it so many times, but no luck, so here I am, stuck forever in the nurse's office. Oh, uh, sorry. Guess it isn't a very fun thing to talk about. But you're such... Just such a good listener. I find myself telling you all kinds of stuff. I hope you still come see me, even if I, I talk your ear off like that. Okay, so I've cleared all the Academy stuff for now. No one else.
Uh, sorry about that. But I think, like I said... My next stop will be the dark face. Up here, just so I can get out of the way. Because it should be the easier one. Get all the easy stuff out of the way first, that way later on I can just come through. So this is the closest focus center. Now then, once I get to the dark base... Okay, now my fighting types are up front. Ah, it's you, Hitomi. Yep, that's me, Clive, a normal academy student. Wait, Tommy, I owe you one. Thanks to you, I've been accepted to Operation Starfall. Why did you join? I need answers, that's all. How to resolve this t situation with Team Star? What's causing the members' odd behavior? Odd behavior? Team Star is the subject of more than a nasty rumor swirling about the Academy, you know. Some say their bullying has caused a worrying number of students to drop out of school. Others say their holdup in their base is plotting to cause tr trouble for the Academy. Those are rumors. Matter I am directly confused confronted with is something else. Talking about Team Star's persistent truancy. They've all been skipping class for quite a while for a while now. Five of them in particular, the so-called bosses of Team Star. Haven't so much as set foot inside a classroom in o for over a year. The team's rank and file have been recently started storing up mischief as well. That's why I took it upon myself to issue a direct order to Team Star to disband. I informed them that should they refuse, I would have no choice but to expel all student students affiliated with their team. But I'm afraid there's been no response, and the deadline I set for them to make their choice between dissolution or expulsion is nigh upon us. So you see, when I overheard you talking on the phone to Cassiopeia, it couldn't have come at a more crucial time. Yep. <laughs> Cat's out of the bag now. Cassiopeia, can you hear me? Okay. Both time, then. Be careful. You're coming up to one of Star's bases. Was there someone with you just now? 
Guess me. We'll be warned that Team Star will have this guard its guard up after losing one boss to you already. Face won't go down as easily as the last one. Proceed with extreme caution. I'll be in touch. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa, hold it, you. Up ahead is the base of, for operations for Team Star's Dark Crew. You might as you may know us as a Sagan squad. And we don't take kindly to random kids sniffing around our turf. Sorry, but if you don't turn yourself around here, we'll have to send you packing. Wait, hold up. Just going on a hunch here, but are you that Hitomi kid? You know, that piece of work that we're out to get for declaring war on Team Star? Maybe I am. Maybe I am, she says, cool as a cucumber. Honestly, honesty's not always the best palsy, you know. You know what? Doesn't matter who you are, you're not getting through. Buzz off or you'll get thrashed by me in battle, kid. What'll it be? I'll take you on. That's the kids like you are the worst. That's it. Prepare to get stomped into the dirt. Okay, Murkrow. <laughs> Why does such a hat sassy kid have to be so strong? How the heck could I lose? Oh, whatever. It's your problem now. Finish here. Jump here for me, would you, bud? Hey, thanks. Hasta la vista. Hasta la vista. <laughs> oh, she just bailed. She's new to the team, you know. I'd have to have a little chat with her about that attitude. Ugh. Well, I'm going to go to the base now and give the rest of the squad the heads up. Come at you full force if you set foot inside, so you might want to consider turning tail. Either way, best of luck to you, amiga. Hasta la vista. I see you took care of the guards. Nice work. Now hold up in the bases. Team Star's dark crew, the state. Egan squad? Their boss... Giacomo... Pretty much runs the whole... of Team Star. He also produced that wild soundtrack of theirs himself. Oh, so he's the mixer. He's a sharp guy. Even our declaration of war won't have ruffled him in the slightest. It's probably to wear you down with a wave of grunts and finish you off himself. I was trying to outthink strategic types like him. Bring him down with a head-on attack. Just keep defeating as many Pokemon as you can until the big man himself shows up. Ring the bell on the gate 
updates once you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Time to wipe the Sagan squad off the map. Okay, do the team's names actually mean anything? Because I don't even know what I'm saying half the time. Yes, let's go in. Some kid lucked out on beating one of our sister squads, and now she thinks she can take us on. Time to give her a, the boot, gang. Let's show this Gatecrasher what Team Star can do. If you're listening, Gatecrasher, know this. As you beat 30 of our Pokemon in 10 minutes, our boss won't lift a finger to deal with the likes of you. Okay. Oh. No. Ah, uh, Sneasels. Donkeys! Alright, where's the next group? Oh, Sableyes! More Sneasels! <laughs> All these Pokemon I hear. Oh, Nimbles? I didn't know they were dark. All right. Way above our level, we gotta get the boss. Done a real number of on us, Party Crasher. Hitomi, was it? I'm Giacomo. At the deck, I go by DJ Vice. Call me whatever. It's a vibe either way. Nice to meet you and all, but how about we skip straight to your outro? Don't worry, I'll play you sick Requiem as you crash and burn. 
Let's get this party started. Defy it, huh? <laughs> River room. I'm to up the tempo. This show ain't over yet. If we can do some Dang. that should negate his intimidate. Try this. There we go. Okay, don't kill. Lived on 10. And it's over. Nice. Yes, that's that. About a year and a half ago. Yes, that's that. What's up, Giacomo? Did something happen? The big boss just wanted me I take on some stuff. We had a chat and settled on a few plans. A few plans? Like what? Operation Star, first of all, and also a new code of conduct for the team. You know how tons of new members have joined up recently? Well, we figured we gotta make some team rules, like a code. We don't we'll be on the same page. I should come up with a great code for us, won't you, Giacomo? Uh, no thanks, way too much pressure. I mean, yeah, I used to be president of the student council. But you know, everyone ended hating me after that, right? Of course we know. Forced a ton of stuffy rules on everyone and they won't take they wouldn't take it. We got some other nerd to replace you after like five minutes. 
Can't help but concur. Nail student's hair must stray no further than 1.8 inches below the nape, and so forth. Your rules were vexation made manifest. Okay, actually dig Atticus. My point exactly, so you all agreed that I shouldn't be let anywhere near this new code. But you always know what's best for the team, Giacomo. Look out for us. Burned our trust many times over. Without you, Team Scourge just wouldn't work. That stuck up suit Castle Prez isn't who you are anymore, man. Code written by G. G. Como I'm looking at now? I'd follow that any day. As would I. Okay, okay. Thanks for the ego boost, everyone. I'll do it. I'll write up the darn code. I did the best I could. I wrote that code myself, and there's no going back on it now. My days as boss are over. So here, take my star badge, would you? I'll give you this choice, TM2. You've earned it fair and square. I'll play! Talk about fair and square. This is how the party ends. Let's talk about those Pokemon of yours. They're crazy strong, huh? You learned those trainer chops at the academy? What moves you should use and stuff? Sure did. Okay, you like it at the academy. Having fun? Yeah, I'm enjoying it. No kidding. Pretty enjoy it. Are you, are you Giacomo? Doesn't expect a giant pompadour to make a guest appearance today. You get a waxel to style that up for you? I'm just here for a quick word. Would you mind? I can tell it's going to be something annoying, but I guess I'm newly freed up for time. Thanks, I'll get straight to it. I think all of you and Team Star are headed for expulsion if you keep up current activities. Why don't you break up the team and start attending class at the academy again? That's what you want to know? As it happens, we're actually waiting on a pal, though we don't know if they'll be back. Ow, a close friend of yours, are they? Probably the strongest boss in all of Team Star. Like how there's a top champion who's the absolute number one trainer, you know? They're the one who invited us other boss to form the team. We call him the big boss. Where's this big boss of yours now? When you we like to know. We haven't heard from him in, I don't know, must be a year and a half now. But if we kept Team Star going, then they'd get back in touch one day. But the teachers keep pressing us to call it quits. And then we get party crashers like you two. Maybe the big boss did ditch us. They were talking about breaking up the team before and all. So Team Star and this big boss of yours. They are really that important to you? <laughs> Is the sky blue? Let me put in words you eggheads in the academy might understand. They're my greatest treasure. Tell me, it's me. Take it that Giacomo Star Badge is in your possession? Yep. You see. If it's boss out of the picture, the Sagan Squad is pretty much done for. Giacomo. Sorry, I got distracted for a second there again. 
Now about your reward, I'll transfer some LP over to your phone as promised. More TMs. Those new TMs will strengthen your Pokemon even further. I'll have my supply, supply unit rep meet you shortly to deliver some bonus materials too. Hello, it's me again from the supply unit. <laughs> wow, what the heck? Hey, stop that! Somebody help! It drooled all over me. What even is that Pokemon, anyway? I have no idea. I'm amazed you're so calm with a giant question mark of a Pokemon on at your side. Uh, before I forget, here's your reward. Your name's Atomi, right? You're part of Arfresh and Stalkrol's battle unit. Can I ask you something? What do you think of Team Star? They are pretty strong. Interesting. You know, some of the rumors say Team Star wasn't always a bunch of delinquents. Most of them used to be victims of bullying or they just found it hard to interact with people. But then these misfits and outsiders found each other and banded together to form Team Star. All they wanted to do was push back against the bullies that they couldn't face alone. But uh, that's just info I got by hacking other students' social media accounts. Hey Curtis, how are you? I also found a talk about some secret mastermind behind the five bosses. Someone who recruited them the team in the first place. I'm doing all right. I to talk this much. Now my throat kind of hurts. So um, good luck taking down the other bases and stuff. Okay, so two bases down. Like I said, I'll probably hit um. I don't know if I'll hit the water gym or maybe I'll hit the lightning gym. Get that out of the way. Water gym, gym leader is like me. <laughs> I do know the water gym leader's uh, trial, I guess, or test. So I guess I can go ahead and get the test out of the way, but probably going to end up closing out soon, so I'll start the Water Gym Leader's test, get that done. Hey, finish him, then work on the Electric Gym, then the uh, Normal Gym. Zoro back up front. How far did I get? Um, I mean, I beat the bug gym leader down here. Then I had some stuff to do at the academy, so I spent some time doing that and clearing out that. 
Then I did the dark face just now. So I have the water gym leader, the ground titan, the normal gym leader, the dragon titan, the fairy base, the ghost gym leader, the ice gym leader, poison base, the fighting base, and the lightning gym leader left. I mean, I got some done today. I'll still keep my uh, fighting team in. I need to level them up for the normal gym. Oh yeah, I used my terror orb. I forgot about that. Hey, little guy. Hey, I need to see. How many... Two eighty nine, so not too much. Have a long way to go. The deck's done. I mean, that'd be nice, but unfortunately, I cannot trade. I'm playing on a copy, or er, this part of my Switch doesn't have online access to my other account. Yeah, so I can't trade to get all the different Pokemon and any extra Evos or anything. Okay, get up here, start the event. Alton Belusa. I'm late, I'm late. Ah, Kofu, wait! Uh, he got away. How was I? How am I supposed to return this to him now? Oh, hey, here is a gym challenge, right? Yep. I knew it. Of course you are. <laughs> that man that just left is Kofu, leader of the Asker Rafa Gym. I swear, some of these names. He has a bit of a childlike side to him, and today he's run off to the market without his wallet. He'll be in big trouble without it. That's where you come in, kind gym challenger. Could you please take T Kofu's wallet to him? Sure. Oh, you are too kind. I'd give you a gym badge right now if I could. Here's his wallet. I'm counting on you. Oh, he has a Venonat wallet. This can be your gym test here. If you do this for me, you pass. Fufu headed for Port Porto Maranata. It's on the other side of the desert to the west. Be careful though, there are many dangerous Pokemon in the desert. That's why I unlocked the flight path. Now, have to cross the desert, I can just fly.
Alton Veluza. Where? Where in the world? Where in the world is my wallet? Honestly? Same, I'm like... Half the time I don't know where half of everything is, especially if I just run out, I can't remember where I put it. Without my wallet, I won't be able to get today's hot item. It'll be bought up by someone else. Don't worry, old man, Kofi. I'll run and look for it right now. What do you want? Our old man, Kofi, is in the middle of some super duper important ingredient buy-in. If you think about trying to interrupt him, then I, his best apprentice, will have to stop you. Do you have something super important you say to us busy folks, or what? Yeah, it's super important. Super important, eh? We'll see about that. Maybe a battle will shut your mouth. Here we go. Marianne wants to learn balance. Uh, no. Puncher, keep current. I let old man Kofu down. Can't get that backfired. Now my wall is empty too. Yes, yeah, step right up and tell me what's the ruckus about over here. Old man Kofu, this kid's got something to say to you. What's that now? A customer here. For little waltness, moneyless me? What can I do for you? I have your wallet. Dalton Veluza, my wallet. Say what now? My lobby staffer sent you out here to bring bring it to me? That's a huge help. Thanks for coming all this way. I guess I should apologize for my little apprentice, too. We didn't bother you too much. Come here at the Port Arenada auction that we really want to get our hands on. So as you can imagine, we are both a bit worked up find I'd forgotten my wallet. Ladies and gents, you don't want to miss this. Here comes today's last item. Hmm? Feast your eyes on the main event. I have here the legendary Wakame Seaweed from the Hoenn region. Do I have any takers? Salt and Veluz. I don't even have to touch it. I can see it's got the springy texture of seaweed chock full of ingredients. Look at, at it. Look at how it catches the light and shines so brightly. Oh. And that rich, fresh aroma of something plucked straight out of the ocean. Need to get some of that. Now listen, kid, if you want to challenge me at the Costa Rafa gym, you're going to need some smarts. This is the perfect place to test you. Get the one and bit of that, that weed for this little old man. What's the win and bid? Well, you see, here at the auction, you got to... Eat with other customers for goods. You gotta be aware of how much money you have, of course. The person who bids the highest price gets to buy whatever is on sale. 
Here you are, fighting funds for the auction. Be smart with it and win this old man that seaweed. Okay. Owen's legendary wakame seaweed. We'll start the bin at 10,000. Keep it low. Here, bid for 10,000. Do I hear more? We're currently at 10,000. In 25. And we have 25. We're at 25. Do I hear more? 30. I hear a bid for 30. Do I hear more? We're currently at 30. And we're at 40. We're at 40. Do I hear more? I hear a bid for 45. Do I hear more? We're currently at 45. Hold, so for 45 to the little lady over there. That was amazing. Those grown up bidders to shame with your bidding skills. Thanks, you winning that seaweed for this old man. I'll make taking it now if you don't mind. This seaweed, seaweed's a great catch. I'd be feeling low as the seabed if I failed to get my hands on it. If there's any of that money left, gave you left, feel free to keep it as a tip. You can even use it to try your hand at the auction again if you like. Alright, I'm gonna head back to Costa Rafa Gym now. Old man Kofi's gotta prepare a real good battle for you. See you there. Okay. So now I'll head back to Costa Rafa and we will call it. Heal up the Pokemon. So that was interesting, and at least my computer didn't die on me this time, that I was able to complete what I wanted to do for today. But tomorrow we will finish the Costa Rafa Gym, and I guess we'll head over to take on the Electric Gym, fly back, take on the Normal Gym, and then figure out where in the rest of that will go to next. Because I think everyone else is like in the 40s or so now. Once I finish the electric, water, and normal gyms, everyone will be in the 40s, so I'll need to really strengthen my team to get to the rest of the game. But that will be tomorrow. So, with that in mind, I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye-bye.